guys, it's Amber and I'm back again with another video. So I am in the same shirt as my other video and the reason for that is because I'm recording two videos in one day, two for one special. Jaden is at his grandmother's house and this is the perfect time for me to record a little content that I've been waiting to record for the perfect time. So here we are. Don't say nothing about it. Be happy I'm getting these videos out and that's on period. So today's video is about Jaden <laughs> and Jaden's not here, but I did try to record this video with Jaden and I'm going to insert a clip now on how that was going. Let's see how he's going to act. Excuse me. We have to record. Hey, baby. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. It's Amber, and I'm back with another video. Welcome back to the Amber Alert channel. Guest star, Jaden. Yay. <laughs> so today, as I'm sure you probably realize because Jaden's in this video, we're going to be doing Jaden's. This is all my day consists of, like, making sure he doesn't get into things. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. So, I'm going to see if I can do this video with him awake. Um, it doesn't look like it, but let's see how it goes. So as you can see, when I'm trying to record, Jaden is not cooperative. He loves the light, so the ring light really distracts him and he keeps going towards the phone and stuff. So I had to record this video without him. Um, I'll insert clips and stuff like that about as time goes on, but this video is Jaden's 12 month update. And I think this is gonna be my last update. Maybe I'll do like a two year update, but at this point, I just think like doing a 14 month, 16 month update is silly. Like, I don't know. So 12, 13 month update, and then maybe we'll do another update at around two years old. Um, but my baby is one, the big one. Um, for his first birthday, we did go to Orlando. We took him there, as you saw in my Orlando vlog, and we had a good time. I mean, he. I think he was just too young to really enjoy Orlando um, as much as we anticipated but it's a life learning lesson and it's an experience and he got to go and it is what it is so let's get into Jaden's 12 month update actually before we go any further I want you to hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave a comment down below tell me what other videos you guys want to see Jaden is a walking machine um he actually <laughs> He's so funny, like he tries to run now. He started walking at 10 months and then like now he's been trying to like run around and stuff like that or like pick up speed. <laughs> and I've been taking him now that it's getting a little warmer. We've been taking him to like the park and stuff and letting him explore and he walks around the park. He like I don't know he likes to look at things there and like touch the grass and touch things so we allow him to just explore in that in those type of ways it is still loves like reading Such a and you know playing a lot he's a very playful baby he likes to climb um, but in terms of reading, like I used to really drill this into my other videos when I did a lot of baby videos, Jaden really, um, you know, I really encouraged reading to him and I encourage reading to any babies. I do not encourage electronics. Jaden does not have, does not do any electronics or anything like that. And we actually try not to even put the TV on. So it's so hard because sometimes people are like, oh, you know, like, What's Jaden's favorite character? Like, he does he like these people? I'm like, Jaden doesn't watch TV. Like, if I have the TV on or AJ and we're watching, like, a basketball game or we watch, like, Fear Fact, like, you know, we watch, like, little shows, um, then Jaden might, like, glance at the TV here and there. But we do not put on anything for him to watch. Um, we are, 
I don't judge anyone who does it, but we just prefer not to. And like, we just buy him a lot of developmental toys and we read to him a lot and we just try to develop him in that way. Um, I think that that's just our parenting style. And as I said, I'm not judging anyone who uses electronics for their, their baby, but we do not. As you watched my Why I Stopped Breastfeeding video, Jaden stopped breastfeeding around 10 months, uh, between like 10 and 11 months, and completely off of formula at 12 months. I was using a, Euro a European formula or German um, hip formula, and now he is completely not using formula at all. Um, he drinks water, he drinks things like that, and he is on a full solid diet. So, you know, he loves solid food. He's a vegan baby. Along with us, we are vegan. Um, the whole family is vegan. So he really like eats a lot of those foods, but, um, and we make sure that he gets his nutrients in other ways, but no formula. He does not drink milk anymore. Everything that Jaden does eat is home homemade like i do not buy him any baby food once again not judging anyone who does but i have made all of Jaden's baby food for his entire 12 you know all the time that he's been eating we do i did my own purees at first when he was on purees and now he eats regular food and everything that he eats is homemade unless we go out like sometimes we might go to like a hibachi restaurant or something he loves lo mein so he might eat that but besides that like everything is homemade i make squash i make sweet potatoes um we do pasta and lentils and this and that so he eats everything that is made at home this is just like a disclaimer for those people who are asking like why he's off milk at 12 months um babies drinking milk actually puts them at a higher risk for iron deficiency anemia you can look it up if you do not believe me. And also, drinking from a bottle long term can affect their teeth. And also, it tends to delay development of the like the mouth and the way that they should be sucking and moving their mouth um, and swallowing skills. So, Jaden, right now we we didn't even use a sippy cup. We went straight to a straw. So Jaden drinks from a straw at this point. And the next step is just open an open cup. We're going to start practicing with him just drinking regularly from an open cup. I don't know if he's 100% ready for it yet, but we're going to see. But right now, he does use a straw. And I use the brand, um, I don't remember, but I'm going to leave a picture right here of the brand that I use. Um, and they have cups for every age, every stage. So they have like the sippy cup um top and then you could just change the top to a straw and then you could change the top to like an open mouth and so the cup is really good right now Jaden has eight teeth well technically seven teeth and one coming up um so he doesn't have any back teeth yet so I'm still being very mindful of the food that I give him even though I have been doing a lot of research and they say that even though they don't have those teeth they do can do still like chew a little bit with there with those teeth so i do like experiment giving him more crunchier foods but i have been trying to like only give him like certain um you know certain consistencies and things like that so that's that at the moment he is not really speaking he says like mama he says dada he tries to say little words like if i say like here Jaden, like he might try to say here or things like that but not full-blown speaking as yet um he does shake his head yes or no i said yes or no no and yes he does shake his head like that um and he he's very knowledgeable like he's not actually speaking but he's very knowledgeable if you say Jaden, it's time to eat he'll go to his high chair and try to get in it if you say um Jaden, it's time to change your diaper like he'll get in the area where we change the diaper or if I say, like, Jaden, go get me wiped, like, you know, he'll do those type of things. So he is still very, he's very knowledgeable, even though he's not necessarily speaking. We do still encourage and we still read to him. I just bought these posters that have, like, the alphabet and numbers and colors and shapes and stuff like that to hang around his room. So I'm going to be putting those up and practicing that with him. 
I'm not rushing him. Like, you know, I know AJ is a bit more anxious about him talking than I am, but I feel like everybody learns and goes at their own rate. So I'm not too anxious about it, but we are still encouraging development. That's the main thing. As long as we are, then I'm good. In terms of Jaden's sleeping schedule, so at first he was not on a schedule. Like up to like a week ago, he was not on a schedule. Now we are trying to get him on a schedule because Jaden will go to sleep two, three o'clock in the morning. Like it was one day I literally could not go to work because I have to wake up for work at 5, 45, 6 o'clock. And at 5.30, Jaden was just going to sleep. So I was up all night. So now we are working on that. So now um, the goal right now, the bedtime is 11. Um, so we went, you know, that's decent for us because AJ works nights, so he tends to be up at night anywhere, anyway, and I usually can't fall asleep before like 12, 1 o'clock as of now, I think because of Jaden. So right now we're doing 11. We're going to gradually push the time up, but it has been working for the past week. We have been having him on this strict schedule. He goes to sleep at 11 and, you know, he takes a shower. We have a whole night routine for him. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see an updated night routine because I know I did a night routine like a newborn, but I want to know if you guys want an updated one now or even like a day by a day schedule, a typical day schedule for Jaden. Let me know if you guys are interested in that video. Besides that, I think that I covered most of Jaden's development. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel. Turn your post notifications on. Leave a comment down below. Yada, yada, yada. Period, period, period. Thank you guys for watching my video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.